Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Shishir Lekult Master Calendar. You can see this 2000s triple calendar moon phase power reserve complication and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this Shishir Lekult master calendar. Now a model that bowed in late 2005 and ran through 2012, it picks up two threads of Jaeger Lecoult history. The automatic winding watch with power reserve display since the late 1940s Powermatic caliber 481, a tradition of the manufacturer. There's almost always been an automatic with power reserve gauge in the catalog, and really since the 19th century, but in the wristwatch era since the 1930s, Chaucher Lecoult has always had a regular calendar display wristwatch offering, and this watch, combining the two in a single 40 millimeter steel case, wears well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Now, this was a wonderful era in Chaucher Lecoult history, and product chronology. Almost every year there was a combination of accessible complications and grand complications, something for almost every budget, taste, and imagination. And this watch offered a ton of value. It's the kind of watch that JLC doesn't really do anymore today, the accessible compound complication for the mainstream luxury watch buyer. So 40 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. The watch is reasonably slim at 13.2 millimeters with a generously sloped case profile thanks to that conical bezel. It will slide easily under a dress cuff, including a tight sleeve. From lug to lug, it's a manageable 48 millimeters, and you can see the master case design of the era was imposing, solid, and substantial, because in many instances, the exact same case was used in sports watch references. So the timepiece is hefty on the wrist because it's a little bit larger than a standard dress watch. This was considered pretty much par for the course during the 2000s on a formal timepiece, but it's not a sports watch, make no mistake. It has an elegance that is tiny a dial that is handsome, and a set of appointments with a thick dark brown alligator leather strap and a full deployant clasp that offers tremendous value to the pre-owned buyer because this was not a cheap watch to purchase when new. It was not the very entry level of the collection. Therefore, money was spent on a full deployant and not a pin buckle. A handsome and substantial alligator leather strap. We've replaced the original with an OEM specification. Monotone stitch, folded edges, as you can see, large rectangular scale, premium cut, and calfskin on the underside. The watch also features a dial with all applied diamond polished indices in white gold and matching hands at center that have been blackened for contrast with the dial itself. During the 2000s, JLC heard its fans who complained about the legibility of grayscale watches with essentially shiny silver hands on shiny silver dials, and this watch remedies that perfectly, as you can see from this angle. The contrast is excellent. The case is simple but handsome, all of high polish. It has only a handful of small nuances which include the character lines formed by the junction of the bezel and the case band as well as the case back and the case band. There's a small vertical section at the lip of the conical bezel that continues the sweep upward from the case and there's a small beveled transition from the hoods of the lugs to the horizontal of the band. But this watch is all about the dial. As you can see, radial date with a crescent-shaped radial moon style indicator. There is a power reserve at 12 o'clock that traces the roughly 43 hours of autonomy between windings. It isn't automatically wound watch, but it's fun to watch the power reserve with its beautiful blued alpha style hands sweep towards full. Of course, apertures for the day and the month, it's an easy calendar complication to read with a crescent style moon phase at six o'clock adding another splash of color and contrast. The watch is lightly loomed with a small amount to read the watch in low or no light conditions. And I have to say that the choice of a matte silver rather than a sunburst gives the dial a warmth that's often lacking in the brilliant glow, the brilliant reflective qualities of a sunburst. This is a little bit more muted, a little bit more subdued and quite handsome. Now you'll notice the watch features a Jaeger Lecoult manufacturer caliber 924 on the case back. 41 jewels, over 300 parts. This is a lot of complication for the money, as the combination of the Reserve de Marche, the Moon Phase, and the Triple Calendar entails a good deal of watchmaking on top of the basic free-sprung automatic. Now you'll note it is a unidirectional winding, 
Modern JLC caliber with ceramic rotor bearings, unidirectional is more efficient than bidirectional. Ceramics are more efficient than steel. They're also longer wearing. They have reduced maintenance needs over time. The watch has a free sprung balance, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. So you have a very robust and accurate balance architecture baked in. And of course, when you pull the crown out, the balance stops. This watch does feature hacking or stop seconds to synchronize precisely to a reference time. What else does it have? Well, the movement is subject to the master 1000 hours control, which is a complete test of the finished watch for power reserve, winding efficiency, durability, and chronometric precision. Finally, keep in mind that the watch does feature a true 22 karat gold winding mass. Important to keep in mind in this era, the 2010s, the late 2010s, when it seems so many brands are converting over to tungsten rotors. That splash of gold, the real thing, 22 carat means a good deal to me. All of the screws are kiln fired and heat oxidized. They're not chemically blued. And though most of the movement finish is mechanically laid down, every Giger Le Coult movement does have a measure of hand finishing, hand assembly, and regulation in it. And the circular Cote de Genève pattern across the winding mass and the bridges is well chosen. Handsome and water resistant to 50 meters. This is a very compelling timepiece. All the adjustments to the calendar are done via pusher adjuster on the case flank. Yet again, the watch achieves 5 ATM water resistance, far more than the 2 to 3 common in the dress watch category. Historically significant, handsome, and increasingly recognized as one of the best JLC watches of the 2000s, this is the JLC Master Calendar with power reserve, automatic winding, handsome, deluxe, complicated, and accessible. See it and own it on the watch box.